What's going on guys, Catalyst here, and before we even get into the loot from 100 Barrels chest, let's discuss the giveaway. To celebrate 1.5k subscribers, I'm giving away 15 mil or 5 mil to 3 lucky winners. That's not a lot you say? Well if this video gets over 100 likes, I'll double it and give 10 mil to each person instead of 5. The link to the giveaway is in the description and will end exactly 7 days from now on Christmas Eve at 11.59pm. The instructions are very simple. The more social media platforms you follow me on, the higher your chance of winning. And don't be one of those people who unsubscribe if you lose, because once this channel grows even more, some of the giveaways I do will be based on how long someone has been subscribed. For example, some giveaways will only be accessible to people who have been subscribed for 3 months plus, etc. Lastly, in case you win, be sure to add me in game and comment your OSRS name below. Enough of my Santa spiel, let's get into some barrels. As you guys can see here, I'm currently crushing some agility. The reason being is 71 agility is one of the requirements for the Mortania Hard Diary. This is just me getting 66 because that's all you need to summer pie up to the requirement. Not only does the Mortania Hard Diary give access to the Bone Crusher, it also gives a 50% rune boost from Barrel's chest, which can significantly raise your profit. So if you guys plan on doing Barrel's, definitely get that done. Now let me show you guys my setup. When I first started, my setup was really prayer heavy, but I ended up switching that up, which you'll see as the video progresses. Instead of prayer pots, I'd advise super restores, and make sure you bring at least one stamina pot. I ended up not even using the whip and just running with range and mage. The reason I'm able to wear armor and still effectively use mage is because each brother besides Aram has pretty much no magic defense. Overall, this is a pretty chill mini game and easy way to make money as long as you have defense or prayer. And FYI, I'm literally starting this with zero barrels kills so you guys will get to see my first 100. The longer you stay in the caves, the more it reduces your prayer, so I typically start with brothers who I need to pray against. The first being to Horak, because the more you hit him, the more you're at risk for a big hit, so you want to have as much prayer as possible. And always keep your protect from melee on. For Aram, you gotta switch over to your ranged gear and make sure you're protecting from magic. All right, and this one, Carol, is actually my hidden tunnel, so I have to save this one for last. Guthans is honestly weak and wouldn't hit well, but the reason I'm protecting against him is just for the fact that he would continuously heal himself if I didn't. All right, another easy one. I rarely use prayer against Torags because he is just so inaccurate. And lastly, I don't pray against Varrock because he can hit through prayer regardless. So against Carol, you just want to make sure that you are back in your mage gear and protecting from range at all times. So for the first loot we get 63k. Not the best but we have 99 more loots to go. I pretty much just breeze through the majority of the loots except the good ones and talk about barrows and other upcoming content plans that I have. So on average people get an armor drop every 17th chest. I was extremely lucky and got 5 within my first 20. Things definitely slowed down throughout, but I was still getting some good loot sprinkled in here and there. Pretty much just like anything else, the more I did it, the more efficient I was becoming. I used to do barrels trips all the time back in the day, but it had been years since I'd done any, so I decided to return. Y'all already know I'm currently always thinking of ways to fund my prayer and construction, so I'm always down to try something new or something I haven't done in a while to make some coins. Honestly, if it was up to me, I would just record myself doing Zora forever because I love it that much, but I know that that would get extremely repetitive and I gotta switch it up whenever I can. Not only was it nostalgic, but another plus about Barrows is how it's relatively cheap to do it, especially when you have a high defense and high prayer level. I bought the Trident of the Seas at around 1.2 mil and I had to recharge it at 42 KC. And by the time I reached 100 KC, I only had to add an additional 600 charges. The benefits of using the Trident of the Seas are the fact that the runes you get from the barrel's chest are the same runes that charge it. It requires 1 death rune, 1 chaos rune, 5 fire runes, and 10 coins per cast. Fire runes are dirt cheap so I don't really count them as an expense, and you get death runes, chaos runes, and coins from the majority of chests. Besides the initial 1.2 mil it cost for the Trident, the only other expenses were super restores and some sharks. I often would only need one or two sips of the super restore and around one shark per trip. All in all, I would say my total expenses were around 1.5 mil. Oh, look at this boys, KC67, this is amazing. 
So guys, that was my first and only double loot, which was dope. It also came with a clue scroll, and I got another one at KC70, my third elite clue scroll, and all three of them had something in common. The fact that they brought me to a point where I was stuck and could not move forward, so unfortunately I had to drop all three of them. I even got 60 to 70 fletching for one, but each one took me to a point where I needed to either have done Garden of Tranquility or have finished Roving Elves, and I did not feel like questing whatsoever, so I just said F it. But I ain't even tripping, boys. Although the loot ceiling may have been higher if we were able to do those few clue scrolls, we still made out okay in the end. It was just a wake up call that there's still a bunch of things I have to do to be the complete main that I want to be. One of my future goals for sure is getting to that 2k level and being nearly maxed on this account. I know that would take long as hell, but why not go for it? Here we are boys, kill number 100. After I kill Torag, I'm gonna kill a couple creatures inside of here so that we get our potential to 100 and we'll see what we get. Last one right here boys. Let's go, I'll take it. Verox Helm, last kill. Alright boys, before we price check it all, I just wanted to showcase that we're still sitting at 100 kills flat. Now let's see how much we made. First things first, let's start with the runes. Again, I really recommend doing Martania's Hard Diary to ensure you're getting the most amount of money from runes as possible. I would have had more deaths and chaos runes, but I had to use 3.1k of each to recharge my Trident of the Seas. Even though I did that, we still grossed nearly 5.4 million runes. Now, on to the barrels, armor items themselves. We got a variety of items from every brother, except Aram's. The three major things were two Guthans War Spears and one Kirill's Leather Top. The War Spears, as you can see, were nearly 1.8 mil, and the Leather Top was nearly 2 mil. Now that we've added in the barrels items, we're sitting at nearly 15 mil, boys. Now, of course, to top it off, throw in a little ball racks and some coins. And overall, we grossed 15.1 mil from 100 barrels kills. As y'all can see here, I have 13 barrels armor items. On average, players typically get an item one out of every 17 chests, and I average one out of every seven and a half. I don't know if y'all caught this, but in my first 20 chests, I actually got five items. I watched a video of C Engineer going dry for 100 chests straight, so to get 12 in 100 makes me happy as hell. At this point I typically sell everything and see how much I grossed, but I'm actually going to keep the majority of these runes and some of these items. But all in all, that's all I got for y'all man. If you have any questions or concerns about the way I do barrels or any of the strategies I used, feel free to ask down below. Thanks for watching guys, and be on the lookout for more dope content. Peace. She want my network, I want it for network. She bring me balance subpoena. I hit a balance arena.